Welcome to Mr. Woods' Wonderful World of Art. I'm Mr. Woods. And I'm Makaya Woods, one of Mr. Woods' wonderful daughters. And today we're going to be drawing... A snail! What materials will we need? We'll need a piece of white drawing paper and a pencil. Also, you'll need a Sharpie marker to outline and your favorite colored pencils. So now, let's begin! begin. Okay, now we're ready to start. We're going to put an oval up here towards the top, but we want to be more on the right side of the paper, okay, Micaiah? So okay. we're going to start over and just a small oval. Then we're going to make a second oval, but it's going to be down slightly from the first oval. Bring her down just a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And then we're going to have a semicircle on the back side of each one. Then we're going to put an oval on the inside. And these are the eyes. And then big eyebrows. Kind of like raindrops that are sideways. Now we're going to draw a long line, but it's going to have a slight curve to it here. And then we're going to put a second one right beside it, okay? And now when I come down, I'm going to stop it even with it so it's going to be parallel. Good. We're going to do the same thing on the other eye, but this time we're going to stop the other eye about right there so it's not quite as long as the first one. I'm going to start right here, so you'd start kind of here, and you're going to go over that second eye in the back, and you're going to swing way down, go ahead, and we're going to stop kind of right here, and we're going to hook the mouth back up, so we'll give him a great big smile, a little line there to make him a happy snail, and then he's going to come under, and I want the jaw under here, and then the head. And we're not going to worry about the neck yet. There we go. Here, and then just stop for a second after you get there. Draw a line down to connect the top and bottom of the mouth. And then I'm going to separate it right in the middle with the line that curves up. Good. And then draw a couple lines straight down for some teeth. And the back side of the head is going to be like this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to curve around and kind of come toward the head and I want it to be ending about right there so you want yours to end about right there so it's like okay. this I don't want to be just a curve I want to hook out a little bit and then come towards that spot perfect there you go and now I'm going to make this part of the neck and he's going to curve down there you go. And we don't have to worry about our mistakes because we're going to outline and we're going to erase. And here, it's, so we're going to have kind of parallel, kind of like what we did up here for the eyes. I'm going to come here. And at the very end, after you get that hooked up weight on you, we're going to just kind of curve it back up. And there's his head. Excellent. And we're going to get kind of a collar for a shell. And it's going to start here and it's going to hook down and it's going to end about right there. Now this next line, I'm going to keep my pencil here. My next line is going to go back to the left, only I don't want a straight line. So it's going to have a little bit of a wave to it. I'm going to stop right there when you, once you get so far that you like your shell. A slight hook in and around the corner. Okay, and then my shell is going to come way up here and it's going to kind of curve back down and back to my original spot. So watch mine first. It goes way up. Okay. And then he's going to come down and then we're going to hook it right there. 
go ahead up and around good job and now we're gonna have a spiral in here and I'm gonna start the spiral kind of in the center and circle it around and I'm gonna go around another time and then end kind of right toward the bottom where the neck and the shell meet so it's gonna watch I'll go right there so you'll kind of end right on that line and start in the middle That's go good. ahead nice and now I'm gonna make a second line doing the same thing right here in the middle and I'm gonna circle around and around and go and see I kind of curved that line at the bottom right there Okay. So you'll be here, circle around, and then right across. Perfect. Then we'll give him a little bit of a, a like the body of him right here underneath the shell, kind of sneaking out. And a little bit of a tail right there. Because he's cruising along. Alright, now let's outline. We're going to outline everything we want to keep. And then we'll erase what we, uh, we didn't like, any of our mistakes. Let me switch your markers. Thank you. While you're outlining, you can add different details, shading, a little bit of different values, some textures. So I'm going to say I'm going to put some dots on him like this. And then I'm also going to color in just part of his eye and leave the top part white so it's like the reflection in his eyes. Don't forget to trace around his eyebrows. Always seems like I go to draw something and I find out later that I missed part of it when I'm outlining. I know what you mean. You know what we need to do before we can call it finished? Sign it. Thanks for joining us here at Mr. Woods' Wonderful World of Art. I hope you had fun and enjoyed drawing the snail today. Did you? Of course. And I'm looking forward to seeing plenty of finished snails on our Facebook page. And for more great videos, please like and subscribe. Keep being original. Keep being creative. And keep having fun. fun. And remember, if anyone can do it, it's you.